What's up everyone, Thessaly here. Now, what's more synonymous to spring than trench coats, right? I mean, also for fall, but when it comes to fashion, spring equals trench coats in my book. I'm sure that most of you already have a trench coat in your wardrobe. If you don't, maybe this is a sign for you to get one because in this video, I'll show you multiple ways to style a trench coat and also a couple of tips to make them look better for curvy and petite bodies. So I own two trench coats and this one from Everlane, um, which is a little bit more of the classic um, brownish color. Got it in a size small. And for this one, I would say that it's a little bit more of a flexible material, a little bit more casual but it can also be dressed up for sure and this one from mango is also in a size small it's uh, in a khaki green which is just beautiful pairs with so many different outfits which i'll show you guys and the material of this one is a little bit stiffer it's um uh, waterproof as well so perfect for you know those rainy days and I love them both. They style perfectly together with um, a couple of particular outfits and I use them all the time. So that's why I was like, okay, let me show you a couple of outfits that I create with these two trench coats. Okay, so starting with this first outfit, this is more of a formal outfit, something that I would definitely wear to work. This is a blue shirt um, from Arquette. Um, I have my jeans from Everlane and I just, you know, true over it is a trench coat also from Everlane. My heels are from Jimmy Choo and I also have my um, Louis Vuitton handbag that I take to work with me. So this is just, you know, a way to show you how the trench coat um, is an extra layer to keep you warm, to keep you also covered. So say if you are someone who um, commutes by public transportation, for example, sometimes I don't I like just something to cover me up, just to be a little bit more low key, you know? But this is a great way to do it. And I love the combination of brown with the with blue. I think that combination, uh, color combination is just perfection. Now, one of my tips that I use to make my trench coats look a little bit better is to just roll up the sleeves a little bit, not too much because sometimes it's a little bit cold so you don't want to show too much skin or to have too much skin um, bare. But this is a nice way to just show a little bit of your um, wrist which just makes your arms look a little bit longer. I don't know, maybe it's an illusion of mine in my head but I think that really makes a big difference. And what I love about this trench coat or trench coats in general is for them to have a little bit more of an oversized fit. This one definitely has that if you can look at the, the sleeves right here, but also the length, it is a little bit oversized. So that's why little tricks like this really make a difference. Okay, so this is more of a casual outfit and I feel like the trench coat really just adds a little bit of a color into it even though this isn't really a pop of color or anything but i did a white and black combination which always looks good this t-shirt is from frankie shop it has the shoulder pads so makes also when you're wearing the trench coat makes it a little bit boxy and pair them with my abercrombie and fitch jeans and then to make it a little bit more edgy i style them with my boots my um, boots from h&m so another a tip that i can give to you when it comes to trench coats is um if you want to make it look a little bit more you know to bring out your curves a little you can tie it but i would say not to tie it all the way through so like it is I mean, of course, sometimes I do that as well, depending on where I'm going. If it's too cold, of course, I'm gonna tie it like that. But what I love to do is to just tie it ever so slightly in the middle. So it leaves a little bit of a, of a gap in the middle, but it has to be just slightly. And just like this, I just think that by leaving a little bit of your outfit showing or peeking through i don't know it adds a little bit of an interest something that you know a little bit more sophistication than just 
um, closing it up all the way. Just think that this is a cute way to still show your legs. For example, if you're wearing this with a skirt, still a, a, a nice way to show a little bit of your outfit underneath instead of um, covering yourself all the way. And I think that the nice thing about this outfit is that because I have the shoulder pads um, under the t-shirt or with the t-shirt, by cinching in the waist, you bring in, you know, bring in the waist, and then because of the all of the material of the trench coat, it goes back out. So you really get that hourglass shape effect with a trench coat like this. So yeah, I think this is another great outfit idea that you can steal from me. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, here's another cute outfit for you, and I think this is a cute outfit to go out for a date night that's a little bit more on the casual side but you don't want to wear sneakers for example but you want a monochrome tonal outfit this is the way to do it um i paired to this frankie shop uh, t-shirt i have in white as well for this one i took out the shoulder pads just because i think it looks nicer like this and also the shoulder pads because the material is a little bit thin you will see them um, underneath the t-shirt. I don't like that. So I took them out and then I paired them with these same jeans from Abercrombie and then with some strappy heels from Naked Fashion and just to stay in that brown category or look and feel I'm going to go with this trench coat and then with this handbag from Louis Vuitton because I think that it's just giving something don't you guys think? So it is brown, but then in combination with white, you don't see that that often. I usually see brown paired with black more often than with, you know, an all white outfit like this. So I thought this was really cool. And sometimes, you know, my lifestyle is very casual. Um, but when the weather gets nice, if we're going out for dinner or something, usually it's not somewhere that's super fancy either. So I can totally see myself wearing something like this, you know, to dress it up with the heels, but the heels are not super high, so this is just perfect. So just um, take this as an inspiration to recreate it with the pieces that you already have. And by the way, I'll leave all the links in the description box below. And another tip that I use to make my trench coats uh, look better is to tie it ever so slightly in the back just to give it a little bit of a cinched in effect here around the waist it is very minimal so it's not you know you can do it you can tie it very tight as well but i don't really like that i want it to be you know very relaxed and casual but still doing something so love to do that to streamline the trench coat just a little bit um especially you know if you are wearing this too uh, for example, a restaurant, maybe you want to do that, but honestly, most of the time I wear my trench coats open, so I always have it slightly tight in the back anyways. So yeah, that's just another tip. Maybe you've seen this all over the place. It's, not, it's nothing new, but it's just something that if you haven't experimented with it yet, just to experiment with your trench coats and see if it's doing something for you. All right, next outfit. I feel like such a cool girl at the moment. This is the clean girl aesthetics that I was going for. If you, I'm sure you've seen that trend going around. Okay, so I paired a little crop top bralette that I have from House of CB with my Frankie Shop super oversized sweatpants and then with my Jordan 1 and with this cute little handbag from Shaq and Moose. I think this is such a cool outfit because you are... Well, what I was trying to do is to go for the oversized look and feel, but still make it cute. So that's why I think that it pairs um, the, the all of the oversize that is going on right here pairs super nicely with this um, cute little crop top roulette situation because it brings in back that balance. And another tip that I have, if you want to, you know, bring in a little bit of shape when you're wearing something oversized like this, is to go for a crossbody handbag, cute little one like this that um, sits right, you know, a little bit higher. So because sometimes crossbody handbags sit a little bit lower, 
But what I love about this trend right now is that you can, they sit a little bit higher, so they come right around the smallest part of your waist. So it automatically, without making it, you know, very intentional, cinches in your waist a little bit. So I think that this is such a cool look that, you know, if you are, sometimes I wear this to yoga. If I want to be a little bit covered up, but still feel cute, you know, I'll have my yoga leggings underneath this gigantic sweatpants with no problem. So yeah, I think this is, this, tur this one turned out pretty nicely. So yeah, if you like it, please Give this video a thumbs up uh, i'm going to just include that call to action right here in the middle of the video because i think this one deserves a thumbs up all right a hoodie and some jeans that's all you need right i mean it's spring this is what i live in and i thought this would pair nicely with this trench coat with my gucci loafers which are a little bit pinkish and then with my um Givenchy handbag just like more of a red um, bordeaux kind of color um, this i would wear let's say if we are going for a i don't know a day trip or just a day in the city center to walk a little bit because you know the loafers are very comfortable and yeah that's about it you know for those days where when i don't want to wear my sneakers i want to alternate between those these loafers come in super handy and they look very fashionable even if i do say so myself i really have um getting a little bit more aware out of them because i haven't wear them that much and but i do now i've learned a little bit more how to incorporate them into my outfits so if you if you love that loafers look i have i've seen some loafers on and other stories as well which are like full leather really nice quality so i'll link a couple of options below for you to check out if you want to go for that vibe as well okay so i actually totally forgot to break down the previous outfits to you guys but the hoodie was from is from cause and the jeans are of course my sour jeans but moving on to this outfit another hoodie because honestly you guys this is literally what i wear the whole time so i'm trying to bring you realistic outfits that are not just for show for youtube but you know actually things that i wear on a daily basis and this hoodie that i got from anin bing is what i've been living in what i love about it is that it has some distressing so you can see around the cuffs um it has the distressing around the hood as well so i love also the the the, the wash of it is super you know looks a little bit vintage so worn in love that so i think it pairs perfectly with these jeans from everlane which is another great find you know it doesn't leave a gap in the back it's just the right length as well and it's also in that washed black um, um color and then because this trench coat is not you know sometimes you have the really camel brown color but this one is more again a, a little bit of a washed brown ashy brown um, so i thought that this whole ensemble paired um, beautifully together they go very nice together and then i decided to throw on my shakamu's handbag because that stark white brings out the white of the print in the hood in the hoodie so this is just an outfit that <laughs> i think it looks very cool um but at the same time you know you're comfortable af in this outfit oh and by the way i um threw it on with my uh, dr martens to, because again i think this is a more of an edgy kind of outfit and yeah i think this turned out beautifully oh and last thing instead of tucking the hoodie into my jeans i tucked it under my bra to make it a little bit more boxy i think those details like that really you know take the outfits to the next level all right if you know me well you know i had to include an all black outfit because it's my favorite kind of color so i thought this trench coat is the best one to pair with that because it has the black button actually now that i hear myself uh, talking or speaking <laughs> the other one also has black buttons but i thought this one 
it will just look a little bit cooler because the trench coat is already pretty oversized and what I'm wearing underneath is very form-fitting so I have this bodysuit from Zara these leggings from and other stories that have the slit uh, around the ankle so it's just a twist on your regular kind of uh, leggings your normal basic leggings and then I pair them with my Air Jordan and I have this pop of color this cute handbag from Mango it just has beautiful beading on it um, it's actually handmade at least that's what the, the label said but it, because green is so in right now and I was looking for more of a spring summer bag this is just a good find so I'll link this one below of course but yeah I think this is super cute the um, the trench coat is just flowing over you know the very form-fitting outfit which is just a vibe you know this is something that I would wear to go for a brunch or a lunch and then afterwards go for a uh, you know a walk or something like that do some shopping in the city center um but yeah you can you you can use this outfit for multiple things i think so yeah all right that's it that's all the outfits that i got i really hope that you got some value from this video i like to make these videos to show you how i style my basic pieces in my wardrobe in multiple different ways because that's how I get a lot of wear out of them. So if you like this video, you might also like um, a previous one that I did styling my oversized black blazer in multiple ways. Um, so you can get some inspiration out of that one as well. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like this one and give me a thumbs up to encourage me to keep making these videos. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!